جئنا إلى الدنيا كي ندعو إلى الله لننشر الخير في الكون الذي حارا ونرسل العطر من روض الهدى الزاهي ويشرق السلم أنوارا وأنوارا How many people we know who were here last Ramadan Subhanallah are not here this Ramadan and therefore we need to prepare for this month it is quoted that many of the Salaf would actually prepare six months for the month of Ramadan because they would say that if the month of Ramadan goes well, the entire year goes well. Now, what is the purpose of the month of Ramadan? Sometimes we don't think about the purpose of the month of Ramadan. For instance, what is the purpose of man? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ We have created man and jinn to worship. What is our communal obligation? Have you ever thought what our communal obligation is? As an ummah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَعْمَرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْحَمُنَا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ You are the best of people taken out for the benefit of humanity. You enjoy good and you forbid evil. Now what is the purpose of the month of Ramadan? Is the purpose of the month of Ramadan to abstain from eating and drinking only? Well, if we look into the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires something else. We, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that fasting has been prescribed upon you like it was prescribed upon those who came before you. Why? That you attain taqwa. Abstaining from eating, drinking, a relationship with the partner is a catalyst in attaining taqwa. Now, how many Ramadans have me and you fasted? And we have never attained taqwa by the end of the month of Ramadan. What is taqwa? Taqwa is that by the time that you finish Ramadan, you are very careful. You trod very carefully upon the thorny path of life. That is the purpose of the month of Ramadan. That we, be, by the end of the month of Ramadan, we become people of taqwa. And therefore, whilst we fast, whilst we abstain from eating and drinking, we also abstain from all those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram. What often happens that we abstain from eating, drinking, relationship with the partner, but we carry on like we normally do. We backbite, we slander, we don't pray our salah. And hence, by the end of the month of Ramadan, we never attain taqwa. And also, this is subhanAllah, a month of maghfirah. The Prophet wasallam said that if the month of Ramadan comes, the person who attains the month of Ramadan, and he does not attain maghfirah and forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he is removed from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Removed from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore, but this is a month where if you look at the narrations, you know, subhanAllah, it's as though Allah wants to forgive again and again and again a person fast, imanun wa ihtisaman. The Prophet sallallahu said, all his sins are forgiven. A person who stands in salah at night, in tarabi salah, the Prophet sallallahu said, imanun wa ihtisaman, seeking you know, with belief and seeking reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all his sins. In a beautiful narration, the Prophet sallallahu spoke about maghfirah and tawbah. Tawbah is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu spoke about a person who goes into the desert with his camp. And he lies down for a while, and then when he opens his eyes, he sees that his camel's gone. Now all his provisions, water, food is on that camel. He runs this way, he runs that way, he looks for his camel, he cannot find his camel. Until finally he lies down, he closes his eyes and he's just waiting for death. And then he opens his eyes and he looks and he sees that his camel has come back. And in this elated state, in this elated state, static state, he say he wants to say, 
O oh Allah, you are my Lord and I am your slave. But what comes out of his mouth? Subhanallah. In this ecstatic state, he says, you are my servant and I am your Lord. He's happy and he and apparently he has uttered words of shirk. But he didn't mean them because he was in this ecstatic, passionate state. And he, and he says, I am your Lord and you are my slave. The Prophet ﷺ said, when a person does tawbah and he returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is why believers should always do tawbah. You know, when we slip, when we make a mistake, we should always do tawbah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, when a person does tawbah and he returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happier, is happier than this person who has found his camel. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the month of Ramadan a month of barakah for us, a month of maghfara, a month of rahmah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you from the fire of Jahannam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite, keep us united in the dunya and reunite the jannah for those. Assalamu alaikum. إلى الدنيا كي ندعو إلى الله لننشر الخير في الكون الذي حار ونرسل العطر من روض الهدى الزاهي ويشرق السلم أنوارا وأنوارا